hi everyone welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel this is mama chi and for today's video we will bring you guys to santorini greece we took our flight from Lyon, france to santorini so we arrived like 10 52 pm in santorini guys and this is the airport the hotel taxi searched us in the airport and brought us here in the hotel. So we visited outside to see what's around in Fira. So as you can see guys, the night here is alive. It's good to start with the ice cream in this hot place. When we travel, we always try ice cream and I think for me, this is the best ice cream that I ever tasted in all my life. We went downstairs to see what's around, but there is nothing there, so we're about to go up. This is the morning ambience in Fira. So this is actually where we are. So this is the night ambience in Fira. It's lovely, it's magical, I can't believe that we are here. It's more beautiful in real guys. It's very different. So we had some cocktails and shisha to finish this wonderful night. Cheers! So in this kind of place, you're paying the ambience. <laughs> so you know what I mean. So in the morning guys, we went to Moto Manos to rent a quad. So you can uh, choose whatever you want. There is a quad, big quad, a small, a smaller quads, a moto. So up to you guys. If you want to discover Santorini and if you don't have enough time, must rent a motor or quad. But I'd advise you guys to choose a quad for more safety. So to make sure guys, just check my description box because I'm gonna link all what you see in this video. So our hotel is two minutes away from the motor rent. We did early checkout so everything is done. And we left our things in the lobby. So here guys, you can see the roads. The roads are quite small, so you know, just be careful. So now we're going to Ia, one of the most beautiful villages in Santorini. From Fira to Ia, it's 35 to 40 minutes. So here we are, Ia. Don't be surprised if there is a lot of crowds in this place because this is the one of the best tourist spots in Santorini. So here you need to walk. You don't have a choice. So this is our first stop. It's amazing. It's so lovely. So this is what they called iconic blue dome churches. So here is the second stop, the Twizo. So this is actually perfect for taking photos. So just keep walking. So in the third stop, we drink uh, just in front of this beautiful view. Oh my God, it's so nice. Santorini is named one of the most beautiful island in the world. This is the fourth and the last stop that we visited in Ia. So this place is so relaxing. There is a music, there is a white houses, there is a windmills okay over there the blue clear skies and the blue water oh my god <laughs> it's spectacular it's really hot in here but there is a wind sometimes and don't forget to drink a lot of water guys so you will not be dehydrated <laughs> before we went here in fira 
we actually watch some videos you know to see what's in fira but it's really different guys from reality i'm telling you i'm one of the luckiest person to be here today guys if you're planning to come here i'm telling you it's more beautiful no words can explain so now we're on the way to the red beach which is located in a crottery it was a good idea to rent a quad because if we did not we will never explore um santo rini guys in one day we decide where we want to go we don't need to wait the bus or search the bus stop you know so it's a brilliant idea we just don't uh, visited the places but also it's become an adventure trip another one is good thing that my husband is familiar to travel so um, it's become easy for us The advantage of having a quad is you can stop whenever you want. You can take some uh, beautiful videos to take some photos. So we are now in a crottery, the red beach. So, but before that, we're going to have our lunch and then we will walk to see the red beach. So in this place guys, there is a lot of restaurant as well, so you can have um, your lunch before going to the beach. There's a lot of kebabs, gyros, you know, salads. So we tried the popular gyros in Santorini. So after we had our lunch, we went straight to the Red Beach. OMG, this is unbelievable view. From Ia to Akrotori, Red Beach is about 60 minutes. Red Beach near Akrotori for surreal, otherworldly landscapes where the blue waters and sky contrast against cliffs of red lava rock. Red Beach is a volcanic sand beach on the Asian island of Santorini. The beach is famed for its touch of red hood sun and it's noted for being popular tourist attraction. The beach is 5 minute hike down to the shore. Here you can rent an umbrella and a sunbed or a snorkel to explore the underwater formations and fishes. This is the first time I've ever seen a red beach in all my life. So for me, it's it's a new and it's very rare in the world. So I was so amazed. We are in paradise. The water in Santorini is more salty than the usual sea. It's because the Mediterranean Sea and the Sargasso Sea have high salinity because evaporation is great and fresh water runoff is low. Because of very salty water, it's like the water floats you. It's easy to swim and the water is absolutely clear. If you have a lot of time on Santorini, then I would say this is a must visit, if only for the fact that there are very few red beach in the world. I love nature, so yeah, we had a great time in here. So now we're about to send a quad. There is a lot of tourists everywhere, guys. <laughs> so yeah, what we did for today, one day trip in Santorini, what we saw is not bad anymore. Thanks to this quad, because if not, we cannot do what we did, you know. 
it's really um, helpful to have a quad and thanks to my husband who try for me all of the day <laughs> you are the best jetem So after the fun ride, we asked the hotelier if we can uh, swim in the swimming pool even we already check out. So they said yes, so it's cool. It feels so good. <laughs> so before leaving Santorini guys, we bought an ice cream again because it's really good. So now we book a taxi in the hotel to send us back at the airport going to Athens. This is the Santorini airport, so it's just small and we just arrived one hour before our flight but we still waited 30 minutes <laughs> so another adventure is waiting for us so please subscribe to my channel to see our travel in Athens and thank you guys for watching